gamers, I'm Glory Hound, and I have the lovely, lovely Ellen Kirby with us from We Game Together. How are you doing today? Hello. I'm doing well. Yay! <laughs> very, very well. How are you? Good. So is your bathroom complete? It is not. No! I thought that's I why know, you might right? have been doing so well. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh! I am reaching an all new level of tired. It's ridiculous. And I actually tried to take a nap twice yesterday and I, I, okay. I couldn't shut my brain off because I was thinking of all the stuff we have to do. But guys, we're so close to the end of that dang tunnel. I can see the light. Mm, I love it. But like today, like, okay. Like we did, we did our front room and we still have not like trimmed the door in the front room. And I'm like, <sighs> oh, just the, we have that one last thing, just the one last thing. Like just oh. the one last thing. Randy actually <laughs> went into work uh, late today um, because we, guys, this is the, you know what? The things we take for granted, a toilet, for instance. Yeah. We did not have a toilet at all yesterday, at mm. all, or like half of the day before. So we were going to quick trip a lot and not for gasoline. <laughs> You're like family trip to the toilet. When you have four boys and everybody's got to poop at the same time or it like all throughout the day, I was like, uh, yeah, they're going to know why we're here. Oh so I would like try to buy something every time I went and I was like, do, do we need like, bread oh, yet? Like, snack time, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I like let them pick out donuts and I'm like, yeah, we're just here. We're really, we're a really snacky family, but really I'm like, nah, we're just using your bathrooms. That's yeah. it. <laughs> They totally knew. They, they're like, oh, yeah. yeah, it's these Absolutely. people like, yeah. again. I felt like they were getting suspicious of me, like security cameras, because I'd always have a hat on. And so, like, my oh. eyes were pretty hidden. They're like, what? Are swear, they casing the joint? This, is, yeah, this isn't weird. I swear we're just using the toilet. I swear. But when Randy put it in this morning, I was like, this is amazing. And I am so sorry for ever taking a toilet for granted. Like I, I apologize to all the toilets that I've ever used. Having a that I toilet took in the house <laughs> is amazing. It's amazing. How do they do it? How Take do away. they do it back in the old days? Like they just walked out to the shed, <gasps> peed in a bush. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and so, hello to our yeah. hello to our chat today. We have Eye Patch and Battle Cry, Andrew Nosfra too. We got Game Trays on here. Nathan, Jevany, Omar. How are you all doing? Let's see here. We got James and C Dub. How, how are all you doing? Yeah, everybody's uh, really excited about your bathroom store. <laughs> it's like the new book, Everyone Poops by Ellen. <laughs> it's everybody craps. <laughs> like, there's nothing that makes you more unfeminine than just like having to take care of business. Well, like, it's yeah, just, everybody I, it's does just, it. Everybody does it. Yeah. But that's a whole special situation not having the it toilet is. in your house because it's really I don't cute. even know what I would do. Like I would at least try to break it up between different QTs or something like that. Oh. I would go to the one over here and then like the circle yeah. K down the street or something. <laughs> so Let's just say my obvious. friend Holly, who lives three minutes down the road, is she's getting a cake after all oh. this. Like she deserves. I've been at her house constantly, <laughs> showering, bringing the kids over to use the bed. I'm just like, I'm. Yeah, we're a part of your family right now. So, right. Uh, but we're well, so close really to nice. done. Yeah, <laughs> yo, she's just a saint with all of this. Oh, but um, I actually. I had to go. I had to use the bathroom yesterday, and I'm like, I am not going to quit trip again. It's just too embarrassing. Um, no. So I drove. To you can never and visit hurt. that quick trip ever again. You're just like, you know, though you kind of get never to never go again. Yeah, I'm just, we're gonna we're moving. We're actually moving to another state. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of just get to a point in your life where you just don't care anymore. And I feel like I'm already there. Having four boys, you're just, it's just like whatever. But I yeah. drove to her house. And her and her husband were in the middle of like a very serious conversation. And I just walked in. I'm like, hi, I'm using your bathroom. And they're just like having this really important like conversation. And I'm like in their bed. Oh my gosh. You're like making me cry this morning already. It's so funny. <laughs> I came up and I, they were still like, you know, really in this, it was an intense moment. Oh they were fighting, yeah. but they were talking about some very important life things. Yeah. And I was just like, I get the award for being the weird friend who comes yeah. over to pee while it's you're talking <laughs> super awkward oh no we are breaking up again you're freezing miss glory hound like can you hear they're sitting me? here can you hear me 
I can just hear you now. Are you there? Okay, I'm here. <laughs> Guys, the stream's going to be super sketchy. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know what's going we on. We were freezing a today. lot earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, so that that's the bathroom situation. We are we probably well, got about a week left, and then we're done. So I'm glad though that you've gotten past the hard parts, which is the shower and the toilet, right? Because your showers. Oh yeah. Working? Oh, okay. Good. Oh yeah. The showers. But it's just yeah. like the little stuff. So you're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was just the little stuff. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Anyway. <sighs> So do we want to talk about board games or Yes, we do. I'm sorry. I was reading the comment that you just clicked on there. Glory, have you played Binding of Isaac for oh. Souls card game? I have not. I have not. I would like to check it I out either. though. Binding of Isaac. I'm going to have to look that up. I, I have not heard of that before. Is it it sounds like a new game only because <laughs> it's very different and I've never heard of it. <laughs> Glory Hound plays all the weird games that I've never heard of before. It's I so love it. funny because right. I have like a card style game to talk about today. So, <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh, right. I like, love it so much. Game. I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Um, Omar says so much bathroom talk when I was ready to talk board games. <laughs> You know yeah. what you're going to get here. It's super important, though, you know? <laughs> it is. Sometimes you got to talk about these things in life. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, let's see here. The Binding with Isaac is an amazing video game IP. I have not played the video game either. Like, no. Mm -hmm. um, I want, now I want to get, like, an in-depth conversation. I'm like, what is this game about? Hold on. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> hey, who, who is it that asked you about that? And no, we're not going to do purse talk this week. You missed the bat wallet last week. Nosferatu. Yeah. Was it Nosferatu? Yeah. No. Purse talk that was last week. Sailed. Hello, yeah. Kabuki. Yeah. How are you doing? So, okay. What did you play this week? What did we, what did we, right, what did so, we got this week? So we um, played Chai last week, which I talked about. And the reason I know that is because I asked Glory Hound. I'm like, did I talk about Chai last week? She's like, yeah. <laughs> so this week, which was yesterday for Randy and I's uh, live stream on Mondays, we actually played Chai Tea for Two, which is right here by the amazing Dan and Connie uh, Kaz Kazmaier. I think is how you say their last name. They are the sweetest people ever. They are so kind. They sent us, um, I think I told you this last week, but they sent us their prototype. It got caught in the rain. There were no pina coladas involved, but it definitely yeah. got caught in the rain. Got wet, ruined. They were so nice about it. And then um, we were just excited to try chai tea for two. So they just sent us a copy, which was so nice. And she's like, you know what? You guys are so nice. We just want to send you a game. She's like, don't do Aww. any content on it. Yeah, she's like, you don't have to worry about content. Like, just don't even, just, we just want to gift it. I'm like, um, yeah, that is so I'm sweet. Good content. I know. I'm like, why are you this way? Why? All right. So let's <laughs> talk about it. So why yeah, do you have to be like that? This is totally <laughs> different than the regular chai yeah. game as far as like mechanics and everything. I remember looking totally. at this at Gamma last year and I was like, ooh, this looks really, really exciting. They they took the theme yeah. and then they completely redid it. So absolutely. Like, and even then, kind of like the, on. the theme is, yes, the same, but it's also yeah. very different also because it is about chai. But in Chai Original, you are um, fulfilling orders of like individual, like a cup of tea, like at your little chai station or like shop or whatever, tea shop. And in this one, you are harvesting leaves and then getting them into ships to sail them. So it's like a totally different like vibe. And a lot of people last night were saying, how does it compare? It really doesn't. They're two totally different games. This one's okay. two player only. Um, but in it, you have a bunch of little uh, boards that connect together. You have like the harvest side and the production side. So right there, that's your little um, tea worker is what he's called. And the place <laughs> that you land on, I know, I was like, tea worker? <laughs> tea worker. Is that like a cooler name for that? No, it's, it's just tea worker. Like, all right. <laughs> so he goes and chooses one of those things, uh, little uh, tiles. And okay. once he goes there, each player then gets each of that kind of leaf. So you have the black tea and the blue tea there. I think the blue tea is called oolong, if I remember last night. So each player gets those teas, they put them into their um, supply, and then each player then has six actions to do because, as you can see, there was a six on that tile. So whatever tile you mm -hmm. land on is how many actions each player gets. And you can do those simultaneously. So I love that. When everyone, you have your own little player board and you're just kind of looking at it and moving things along and doing whatever you want. Um, but basically the point of the game is to get your leaves um, into the bottom of your board and travel them up the board um, eventually to get in your ships to sail because that's how you're going to be making a lot of points. The production value of this game, guys, look at those little tins. 
They're like this big. They're so cute and little, Aww. but they're really like sturdy. They're like, they're just beautiful. And when you feel them, they have like this really thick, like textured coating. It's not just metal. They're just, they're so pretty. So yeah, this game is more about um, getting the leaves into the ship to sail them. And there's so many, there's a dice placement game, which actually a lot of people were asking us last night, like, do you prefer chai to this one? It's so hard to compare them. I feel like it doesn't necessarily come down to which chai game do you want to play. It okay. more comes down to like, how heavy do we want to go? Yeah, absolutely. Um, because I this one, I wouldn't, yeah. And I wouldn't call chai to a heavy game by any means. Like we play crunchy hard euros all the time, Right. but it's way more thinky than, than chai. I mean, you have to figure out where you want to play, place your die, um, which is always just a thing in itself. Um, you can manipulate them, the die by, and actually I was worried about that because a lot of times when you have a die game and you roll, like if there's not a way to fix your crappy roll, you're kind of stuck. Um, but in this game, you can actually get rid of tea leaves, um, that are on your board to manipulate the die to be able to like, um, get you a ship or, um, get you an action of flipping a card back over. So as you acquire cards in the game, you actually tuck them around your like personal individual player board and you can use those abilities as your leaves travel like up your board. So it's, it's really different. It's super not what I was expecting. Um, and the mechanics are just, I mean, it's just like dice placement, but it's, it's just, it feels very fresh and unique. Actually. I, I was kind of surprised at that. I didn't really feel a lot of similarities to try. Well, that's really so. fun because I love seeing a designer company, whatever, bring a game into light and then yeah. expand on that game and make it like the same, but different. I always like the same, yeah. but different. Like I like having the theme and all those things that I love about the game translated totally. to like a brand new puzzle for me. So like yeah. that portion of it sounds fantastic. And I love how yeah. it's still like them. It's like before the tea gets to the chai table in the original game, which is really awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. That's a really cool way to think about that. I love that. Um, yeah. I so like, I love like, that. Oh, I, yeah. And Connie and Dan, like they, in the rule book, they have a whole history on like how they would get tea to the ships and how this, the ships would actually like, like you have to race to get, you know, to your product to the buyers before other tea came in. So it was like a really big deal. And there's like ships that were lost at sea that it talks about tea? trying to like get their tea it's in. A I'm serious like serious thing, like super serious, like <laughs> everywhere in South America, up. tea is like so yeah. serious. Okay. Absolutely. I was like, wow, people, people die trying to get their tea. Yes. <laughs> I feel that way about coffee. Right. But I didn't know chai was that serious. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's like everywhere in, in Europe and like I, what India has really important yeah. with tea and China and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. everywhere except for America. I'm like, oh, this tea is, yeah. tea is you got to get it out there. And actually, Brandy, the Randy does like not like coffee at all, um, but he loves chai tea. So um, he's Ooh. actually uses my coffee, like my press that I get, my not my press, yes. my um, espresso machine for the water. And then he like froths his milk and puts it in the chai. <laughs> so yeah, Randy's really into his chai. I will say one thing that I that made me kind of sad, um, not about this game, but that I missed from chai OG is you have all those adorable. Um, customer cards of like pictures of people doing stuff and it's adorable and this one does not have that there's oh, two there's like yeah. little starter cards yeah yeah for like your special ability and one of them's based off of connie which is adorable she's just this precious little girl um but yeah like you don't have rodney smith rowing a friggin' canoe down the river like you just don't yeah have so i miss i miss rodney a little bit oh so, <laughs> i need yeah. more rodney in i need more rodney <laughs> yeah i think it was nathan last night he was like i miss rodney because he was watching our stream and there was no rodney Smith. you could yeah. just take this card from chai and then put it in the second one like as your centerpiece in the game we're like yeah, we're doing all this for there. rodney here yeah, cool. <laughs> he needs yeah, a C, okay rodney. yeah he needs it all right leave him alone this is definitely a heavier game though i highly I highly recommend checking out. And they are serious about their production. Like they want their games to oh, look yeah. good. And this is like classy as heck. Heck Which class. Is so awesome. I freaking love, 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 love. I love yeah. well, I love Kickstarter because I love deluxe things. Like I love yes. deluxifying games. I feel like that brings a whole new gaming community to a game. Absolutely. Because people will look at it and go, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. this looks so amazing. 
Yep. I want to play it. I don't know what it is, but I want to play it. Like yeah. it looks so I don't much know what fun. it is. Right. But I need it in my life. <laughs> There's something about being able to have oh, all these really gosh. unique pieces to touch and play with and stuff. It brings out like that kid yep. part of you, you know? Absolutely. Like, <laughs> hey, Randy's in the chat right now, my man. And he says yeah. Chai High Tea is an expansion for the original. So yeah, I don't know. We don't Ray, we don't have high tea, do we? Uh, let's see. No, I don't think that we do. But anyways, there's that comment, everybody. <laughs> <There's> that. <laughs> I started thinking about it. I'm like, do we have that? I don't think we have high tea. So yeah, Randy, just you, tell me if we do. Do you have a favorite tea then? Okay, like Randy says we don't. It? I didn't think so. Do I have a favorite tea? Yeah. Um and chat too. Chat, what's your favorite tea? I'm curious. I don't have a favorite tea tea because I don't really drink a lot of it. Yeah. I will say we used to go to this little um bistro by our house. It was back in the day when Rand and I were like friends, but I didn't really Aww. like him. But he liked what? me and I was like, go away. <laughs> <laughs> back in those days. Uh, back when I hated him and he had huge fire me. Um there was wow. a day you or not that I did not have great feelings towards him, which just blows my mind now. That um, is, but, that but, is so surprising. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's really sad seeing as how I'm the one who basically proposed to him too. It's kind of like, how, how did you go from that to that? But I, that's <laughs> how I work. Don't ask me to explain myself. All right. <laughs> but I was, I would always get a raspberry chai and okay. then have them put extra pumps of raspberry in it. So it was okay. basically sugar water. It was pretty sugar. much pretty. It was <laughs> yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. Water there with a ain't none healthy about that. A light caffeinated sugar water. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Randy would definitely know more about this topic. And he actually bought a whole like sample case of a bunch yeah. of different kinds of chai because he really gets into that. And um, we have a friend who comes over here all the time and games with us, and he also does not drink coffee. So we're always making him try. And oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Ooh, there's like all sorts of delicious tea suggestions yeah, awesome. in here. I'm like, oh, okay. Now Randy, I'm going to go try all these different things. Start writing them down, everybody. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Randy, you should take notes here because. So, I've, yeah, I've yeah. tried hibiscus tea, which I really, really like. What else? I, I really like like an English breakfast sort of tea. Okay. Yeah. Like an English sure. tea with the little milk in it and stuff because it's probably like the closest thing to like a coffee, coffee. Tea that you have. <laughs> well, my favorite tea is coffee like tea. A, yeah. Like a really black <laughs> English tea. I don't like it. Oh, sorry if you're talking. Mine's freezing up again. <laughs> oh no just keep talking if you're there i'll just real smile great, real great okay, okay. <laughs> as long as you smile everything okay there you is go fine. there you go if, if, <laughs> if you see me go then you know we're frozen <laughs> this is what i do whenever you freeze <laughs> that's, that's how you do it so okay, Randy says spices? spices only and you add your own sweetener and milk froth is that what chai is it's just spices like what is he saying gosh man these Isn't freezing chai, moments I know Chai is like a super spicy tea, but like hmm. I think you know I'm so whatever, interested they put, in this. whatever they put in chai, like any sort of cinnamon piece stuff. Like I'm allergic to cinnamon, so if you have cinnamon oh. in it, like I can't drink it. And chai, although it smells like wonderful, and I want to drink mm -hmm. it so bad, I know it's super bad for me, and it would just not be. It would just not. Be okay, good. interesting. So chai, chai is, is just a mixture of spices. I didn't know really that. Interesting. I didn't know that yeah. either. So is it just like a regular like cup of tea, and then they throw like bam spicy. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that what but I think regular tea. Don't you steep it, and then chai is like you actually drink it because you dissolve it in water. Like it's mm. not a steeping process. All, all tea is like all real tea is steep, not. <laughs> yeah, because you wouldn't drink the leaves. The, the I'm just yeah, like the dis <laughs> chewing, chewing the tea. What do you what you eat there? Sometimes. Tea? sometimes. What you eating? Tea? <laughs> Are you eating a steak? Oh. No, it's tea. <laughs> Kabuki says allergic to cinnamon. Oh man, I love cinnamon. It's the worst, Kabuki. Yeah. The absolute worst. Could you imagine not eating cinnamon? Think of all the things that you can't eat. Like pumpkin pie, churros, like that's super pebbles. sad. Okay, yeah. pumpkin pie, French toast. French toast has cinnamon mm. in it. Like, how are you surviving? <laughs> how it's so hard. 
So How far <laughs> is the extent of your um, of your sensitivity, like your allergicness? Like I like for instance, this I'm using a diffuser upstairs, yeah. and I buy oils. Oh yeah, all the I can't time. do that. I can't. If, you if can't you have even a do cinnamon, that. If you have a cinnamon <sighs> diffuser, or it's, actually the cinnamon scent is the worst because especially in the winter, whenever they have those wow. scented pine cones out, it will give me an instantaneous headache, and it'll like no really really intense headache and stuff like that, and make me start to like, feel so nauseous sad. and everything. Yeah. So. They'll put those cinnamon pine cones in front of all of the grocery stores. And during Christmas, I'm like, it's the like, most yeah. wonderful time. And, and she's just like, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> me out of here. <laughs> why, is, why is there so much cinnamon up here? <laughs> what are you freaks thinking? Someone it's could die over good. this. It's not good. That's super sad. <laughs> Sometimes I'll still eat it because it's delicious. And like, if I have a churro, because I freaking love churros so much. And yeah, they're, so they're amazing. And then I get so sick afterward. Like, I just, I feel no. like. Oh, so Where do delicious. you get your churros from? Oh, wait. This is me because we're frozen right now. Hold on. You know, this is going to be like a super. We're going to do okay, the mix back. of this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Whoever's okay. watching this, sorry. Yeah, I, pr I appreciate all you sticking around for all this stop yeah. and goes. We're bound to have one like this, right? It's been There's too perfect up until now. A churro place in Arizona that sells just churros, and they make them fresh right there in front of you. So, like, they pipe it into the fryer, and they fry it. And then you can put whatever you want on it and stuff. And it is the most amazing freaking place ever. I can't remember the name of it because I can't go oh because gosh. like, no, I've been I like really. yeah, oh. I've been like twice and I'll take the kid and I'll be like, just let me smell your churro. Just let me smell your churro. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to watch you eat it and I'll be yeah, fine. Exactly. Just crunching. Tell me how it tastes. How does it taste? <laughs> describe the yes. sensations, please? So that's really crazy. So you actually have like a legit churro place. I go to a place yeah. down the road. They're delicious, but it's just Taco John's down the road. Um, I don't know if you guys, it's a chain, but I don't know that you would have it in Arizona. Um, no, I but don't their churros so. are really good, but they're not really mm. fancy. It's just like, here's the thing with your taco. No, it's this is amazing. Special. Like you can get all these whipped creams and like toppings <gasps> on top of it. You can have like a churro ice cream thing and like. Oh my gosh, I have not lived. I know, I know, I have right? Not. And I can't even enjoy it. And I can't that, even no. enjoy it. You can't. That is highway <laughs> robbery. That's horrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Oh, it stinks. Oh, all right. Moving on. Moving yes. on, everybody, yes. to happier things. <laughs> That was way I'll too devastating. What did I play this week? Okay. I have to talk about this game. Have you ever played? Okay. I'm going to bring it up. That game. Aqualin. No. <gasps> I have not. It looks charming. You have not played Aqualin? I have oh, not played it. Chat, no. chat, have you played Aqualin? This is a two-player game, okay? Okay. Which... I know not everybody is into two player games, but this one and it has like an abstract sort of feel to it, but it's so adorable. You're moving around all of these little creatures and it's so challenging because oh. all these little creatures here that you're moving around, one of you plays colors and one of you plays creatures. And you're trying to get groups of either that color or those mm -hmm. creatures. So in this picture right here, yellow is gonna score points based off of the grouping of four yellow. And on your turn, what you do is, I believe you get a tile and then you go ahead and you get to like place a tile, move a tile. So you get to move and place a tile. And that's all you do, you just like move, place a tile, you get your tile for the next round. So you have like a couple of shoes and that's love it. it. That's all you have to I do. I love it. Basic and, is great. I right. It's so simple, but it's the most challenging game ever because whenever you're moving these tiles, you move them either uh, like horizontally or vertically on mm -hmm. the board. You can't okay. move them diagonal or anything, and you can move them as far as you want. But since you're trying to group those tiles, but you're also trying to avoid the other combination of stuff, it becomes incredibly challenging because right here you see there's like some seahorses over here. That yeah. sea thing could get out of control, but you might also want 
the seahorses <laughs> to be close to you because of the color that you have or something like that. So oh. it's very much a push and pull and you get exponential points based off of how many groupings you have together. So okay. like a group of five is like way, way better than a, a group of four, you know, because it's just harder oh. to get those together, you know? Oh, is that much normal. on BGG, Glory Hound? Yes, it is. Of course I'm showing my pictures off first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, are you kidding? You're like, so babe took person. these pictures. The pictures are amazing, everyone. Oh my gosh. So you know what? That is really cute, actually. Did you put the sand down in there with like different color sands? Oh no, you're frozen again. I asked the question you didn't answer, and I'm like, answer the question. <laughs> there you go. Now I can hear you. She doesn't want to answer my question. What did I say wrong? So I put, I put the sand down here and this is, I'm, I'm a huge fan of, what is it? The not, it's gosh, not photo book paper, but the paper, scrapbook paper. There you go. Oh, okay. Using yeah. scrapbook paper for stuff. So I have scrapbook paper or water idea. and then I put the sand, like actual, like little, just fake sand on here. And then the uh, board Cute. up above it. So like it was turned into like a really fun little photo shoot with a very small yeah, grouping awesome. of stuff. Yeah. I love doing stuff like that. <laughs> um, I want to say hi to Jim, who just said hi, Ellen and Kat, two of my favorite peeps. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, Jim. And then Randy, Randy asked, where's the death in this game? <laughs> <laughs> that was last week's theme. Okay. <laughs> These games are way too cute, Kat. What's going on? <laughs> where's your death? I love cute games, too. But this one, yeah, the total death was last week. And plus, we have, you know, yeah. we have an, I have another one to talk about that's a little bit of death oh, in it. Oh. <laughs> All right. You're like, don't worry. There some will death, be death. Some political intrigue. All of the oh. things you love. <laughs> oh my gosh. Especially in these trying times. That's what we want to talk about. <laughs> you totally have to play this game though. Like, okay. I played it with super, the kid, super cute. Played it with the husband. Anybody can learn it. It's like super, okay. super fun. I just. And those tiles, do those sound and feel and click? Like a zool. Yes, they do. So okay, no, but well, yeah, the tiles are like um, well, like the chai tiles. So they're they have like that plasticiness, but they're still kind of <sighs> heavy and like substantial okay. and stuff like that. So like oh, that. tiles are really nice. And I believe this is only like a twenty dollar game. Everyone, it's like twenty bucks. Oh wow! Yeah, it's That's so crazy. inexpensive, and I was like, what? So okay. inexpensive for so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome it looks really really cute i would love to try that and i was gonna say the the board that has the grid on it you know it has all the water like splashes yes. underneath it i love that so there's something magical about that sun coming through the water and making that it makes me immediately think of like my childhood little mermaid oh, like being at yes. the pool where the yes. water's like doing that dance in the water when we were on the cruise last year we were walking through the through the beach and the sand and all that i'm just looking down like i feel like i'm 10 and it's amazing i love it so i love the little board i played with my <laughs> husband anyone can learn it i'm gonna say ouch for derek wow well, i didn't mean it like that jim Okay, let's see how it is. Like Derek, where are you? She just called you dumb. I know. I <laughs> and then I said, now. <laughs> All right, so super important uh, question. I know you already mentioned yeah. it. As a kid, were you the Little Mermaid when swimming? Girl, I was freaking Little Mermaid in the bathtub, right? at the right. lake, <laughs> at my friend's pool. I'd always go, ah, 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 and I would splash up like this, and water would come around. And my mom would be like, you're getting water all over the bathroom. <laughs> you do the hair flip thing, and you're like, <laughs> I want to be where the people are. Yeah, that was me, girl. Yeah, I have two, three Little Mermaid shirts. Oh my God, that's I who I am. Me too, like ever, like, right? <laughs> Yeah, the best. She's, yeah. You know what? I actually posted a photo. I was doing um, yoga and I have this little mermaid shirt on and yes. she, it's her big red hair. And she's like, Whoa. and um, James Hudson actually posted that. He's like, he's like, uh, Ariel's my bay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like everybody loves, the little, everybody loves the little mermaid because it's a mermaid. Like it's the coolest Aww. thing ever living under the water. Like, 
it sounds horrifying, but amazing. Yeah, like yeah, as she was my princess. The, yeah, the Little Mermaid, <laughs> the movie, and everything. It was so fantastical and such a cool underwater world. Yeah. And everything was so lively, and like the music was so yep. much fun and everything. Totally. Uh, Jim says, "Wow, that was amazing. Sing a little more." Oh, <laughs> thank amazing. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I I sing all day. All I had I had the feeling though. I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is like." Totally, the little, yeah. You were totally yeah. the Little Mermaid. Absolutely, you had to be. I had like, like yeah. the Barbies and like the little figurines. I'd play with in the bathtub, yeah. and when you pull the string in her back, and she's like, da -da -da, says whatever, mm -hmm. has her little yeah. fork. Yeah. I actually took a picture. Um, we Miranda and I were on vacation last year, and I had just gotten out of the lake, and my hair was like all messy, and I didn't have a hairbrush, and I had just gotten extensions put in. You need to brush out that Ooh. mess when you put extensions in. So I was like, what can I use? Oh my gosh. I'll use a fork. A dingle hopper. <laughs> so I went in the kitchen and I got a dingle hopper. And I was in the bathroom like, la da 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 I love it. So yeah, she she's my girl. She's my girl. Oh, fun fun little mermaid fact. Oh. Prince Eric can't hmm. understand fish language, so he wouldn't understand the "Kiss the Girl" musical number that was just awkwardly silently oh. sitting well, in the boat. Out. Staring. Can you imagine all these fish being like, "Would you just would you just kiss her?" And then he's like, "This is like the weirdest experience I've ever had so right strange. now." Strange. Okay. He wouldn't even care about the fish singing. It would be what they're saying. So good thing he couldn't understand them. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah, I will amazing. say my boys, like they actually, they'll, they'll watch any movie. Like they don't care. They're very, my boys are very uh, testosterone-y boy boys. They punch each other. They're wrestlers. Everything is like a competition. Um, but they will watch anything and they love The Little Mermaid. And so oh, the other yeah. day they went to watch the sequel and i don't know how many there are um it's one oh, ariel a has lot like a of them actually i yeah. think there are yeah yeah it's one where ariel has like a little daughter mm -hmm. i was slightly disgusted i was like this does not meet the caliber of the really made at really? all the art i'm like what oh the yeah personalities yeah. that that like oh there's just that twinkle that sparkle that was missing it was just it just felt like no, no. Yeah, it's like a painted. Aladdin, like the second Aladdin or something like that. The, yeah. What for are we some doing? Reason, the animation was just not as good. Yes. I was like, oh, I didn't have the same excitement. Like, what happened? Yeah. Why didn't you have like <laughs> translated? <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah, the voice actors were have you different? Yeah. I yeah, don't know. Totally. Mm -hmm. It just didn't feel. It didn't even feel like The Little Mermaid. It was like a, in a totally new movie, which you yeah. know. Yeah. Little Mermaid, call it something else. <laughs> how about call it the little brat? Okay, how about that? <laughs> the little brat with a guest appearance by Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a way better title. Um, have you seen the movie Land Before Time? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Who hasn't? Like, that's a crime. What do you think movie. of it? Oh, my gosh. It's a crime yes. movie. I remember, how do you feel yeah. About it? Like, it's been a long time since I've seen it. I I think when it hit, when I was a kid, it was super amazing. But then going back and looking at it now with my kid, I'm like, mm, it's okay. But I remember being so upset by that movie when I was a kid. Oh, my gosh. So there's two movies that I, well, I mean, there's a ton of movies I grew up watching. But there's two movies specifically I wanted to show my boys because I'm like, they're going to love this. One of them is Land Before Time. And Tree Star, I love that so much. And then one of them is uh, the Never Ending Story. And so oh, yes. they cannot yes. watch those yes. because they cry. They cry every <gasps> time, and it makes them oh, so yeah. upset. Yeah, like when he's pulling mm -hmm. his horse through the mud <gasps> and dies in who the mud. Doesn't who doesn't cry over that? Well, hold on. Who does somebody? If somebody doesn't cry over that, they deserve a smack or something because You're that is like the saddest thing ever. There was a it's meme horrible. that went around with that <laughs> on there, and it brought back the feels. I was like, oh god, I can't look at this meme. Oh. Oh, god. Like, oh, most traumatic so experience of my childhood life ever yeah. was that dream. I remember showing oh, like, my oldest oh my son that movie. I think he was, like, seven or eight, and he watched it, and he he turned yeah. it off. And He's I'm like, like oh, I'm what? done I'm with like, this. I'm like, such a good adventure. Like, why did you turn that off? He's like, Mom, I just, I don't really like it. And then I saw him, like, crying. And he was oh, trying to hide so it. Sad. It was so sad. That's so sad. Oh, my God. Oh. How oh. can you talk badly about Littlefoot? 
I didn't, I, I didn't you say can't. anything bad about Littlefoot. No. <laughs> um, I call Wesley my youngest child, Littlefoot. Oh. This is, uh, do you remember Splash? Ta speaking of mermaids, do you remember Splash? Mm -mm. Did you ever watch that? Ooh, no. Oh my gosh, you haven't yeah. seen Splash? <gasps> no. Oh my That's gosh. Okay, so me. Jim, who are, the, who are the actors in it? It was like Daryl Hannah and uh, gosh, why can't, I, Forrest Gump guy, what the heck? I can't remember his name. Oh, Tom sudden. Hanks. Yes, yes Daryl okay. Hannah and Tom Hanks, and it was a mermaid movie. <gasps> Yes. No. How did you miss that one? It was a mermaid. I don't know. Movie. And it was a live action movie. So like she was an actual mermaid in the sea. It was so cute. Okay. What is wrong with me? Did, wait, did this come out like fairly recently? Was this like a fairly recent no, thing? No, this was, oh, it had to have been like in the eighties or something. Or in, yeah, it had to have been in the eighties. All right. I'll be watching yeah. that immediately after the Yeah, stream. no, you need, you need to watch it and then like report back to me. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I will. I freaking loved that movie. It was so wow, good. I need to see it. We'll be discussing it next week <laughs> on my stream. <laughs> yes, John Candy. Exactly. We'll we'll just translate that to the next stream. We'll be like, okay, so what did you <laughs> yeah, think right. of Splash? <laughs> what did you think? Let's carry on the Splash combo. <laughs> right. Um, Lamb before time though, when he thinks that he like his mom, he sees like the shadow and he runs up and it's yes. just himself. Oh, and he, oh my gosh. gosh. No, now you're bringing back all the super sad moments. I'm I thinking know. about them. But that song, um, I had gotten. Rid I sing of it that all the time around the house. Apparently, <laughs> really? oh, it's so incredibly sad. My kids can't handle it. I don't blame them. I'm just like, but you have to watch it. And like it makes it sad. I'm like, watch it. Yeah, yeah. for nostalgic for me. You anyway. have to. We recently did that with uh, my kid with Batman. I think Returns because Michelle oh, okay. Pfeiffer played Catwoman oh, in that, sure. and I was like, mm. I will now ruin every single. Catwoman ever played in the existence <laughs> of movie <laughs> by you watching yeah. this film, kid. And she was like, You're yep. right, mom. You're right. Best Catwoman ever. I'm like, I know. Yeah. I know. Isn't no, it funny how be, there have been, been so one. many Batman? Like, who's your favorite Batman? Like, how far oh, back have you watched? <sighs> Probably. I started with Michael Keaton Batman. Okay. This is just going to be like movie talk, apparently, for the rest I of the screen. I'm so around. sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> no, but I love it. <laughs> oh, you never know what you're going to get on our show. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Right? <laughs> At least it's not bathroom incidences <laughs> anymore. This is better than the bathroom incident, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're classing it up now, right? <laughs> well, and I want to know Chad's favorite Batman, too, because this is a really yeah. important question, okay? So it I is. started with what is it my I think it was Michael Keaton right it was Keaton this, yep. that was like my first Batman right okay I remember thinking as a kid Val Kilmer was going to be awesome but then I don't feel like he was that awesome so I have to say maybe Christian Bale was pretty good mm -hmm. although the voice okay. was kind of <laughs> I don't know I don't know thank you for saying that I thought <laughs> yeah. I was going to maybe be alone on this um my favorite Batman is Christian Bale that I is it okay, I, Christian Bale? He's just—I love his acting. I don't know what it is about yeah. him. He might be a terrible person. I don't know, but every movie he's in, I like. I I love it. I think he's just such a great. He really just pulls me in every time. Yeah. But I gotta tell you, when he opens his mouth, I'm like, why are you talking yeah. like that? He's yeah. like, I'm gonna get you, you little stinker. It's like that's not. <laughs> you don't sound scary. You sound dumb. <laughs> like I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, I need you to do like writing for the next Batman. <laughs> Come back here, you little stinker. <laughs> hey, you little stinker, get over here before I contact your mother. Right. And you'll be in for it. <laughs> like, it's, just, it's not good. But everything else that he does in the movies are so oh good. I gosh. love them. And my favorite actor in those movies is um, ah, Michael Caine, His, uh, the Alfred the Butler. He's oh the yeah, best butler. right. Best butler. He is. He is like the cast in so those nice. Christian Bale movies were so good, so good. Yeah. And I'm kind of like, what do you think of the new Batman coming up, Twilight Batman? <sighs> you know, he, the, 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 I know, I know. The Twilight it's, it's, he's it's never perfect. getting away from Twilight that title. Batman. Yeah, that guy's never getting away from that title. <laughs> He was in a movie recently called Tenant, and I actually thought it was a pretty good movie. Okay. And I thought his acting was really good. I thought he did okay. a great job because when I hear about him, I think of like just a teeny bopper love and just dorky whatever. Right. But um, I think he did really good, so I'm kind of excited to see how he is as Batman because I okay. think he has that. I think he has that little Randy. Oh my so. gosh, Randy says, "Wait, who are you talking about?" Because. <sighs> 
I don't have a Hollywood crush, okay? I don't. My crush is my baby, my Randy. I don't Aww. have a Hollywood crush. I don't. <laughs> but there's one actor who I love. He's my favorite actor. If I could meet any actor, it would be him, and it's Michael Caine. I just think he is, like, the coolest cat in town. And so because of that, <laughs> yeah, your crush on Michael Caine. Randy has all these jokes about how I love old dudes and I love Michael <laughs> Caine. So apparently, yeah. That's okay. Like, <sighs> it's all about the acting, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. He's just so cool. Michael Caine is so, he almost reminds me of like a British, like John Wayne. He's just hardcore and he's like, okay. shut up and take it kind of thing. And I just, I think he's cool. Okay. Yeah. I, like I don't think I have a favorite actor or actress either that I can think of. Cause like, I mean, okay, no, I can't say that. I really like David Tennant because I've watched him in Doctor Who, but then I also okay. watched him in, uh, he did like a, gosh, Jessica something, the Marvel, okay. the Marvel show. The main, the main like guy of, from Doctor Who? Or is it somebody It was else? one of them, yeah. Name. Yeah, David Tennant. He was like the 10th okay. Doctor? He was the 10th Doctor. Oh, I need to look him up. I don't know. And uh, in what was the heck? Jessica Jones. Thank you so much. Bug, uh, <laughs> buns, 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 guy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, he was in Jessica Jones and he was amazing. And the range that he can play between being like the doctor and then going to like this really evil character that you hate. Mm. And then I also watched him when he's done some like Shakespeare sort of stuff, like plays oh, and cool. everything. And I just love him. He's such a fantastic cool. actor. He can be funny. He can be witty. He can be like, he has such a great range. He can be like huh, dastardly awesome. and evil and you hate him. And he can be super fun and exciting. And you're like, oh my gosh, like the range. Gosh, is, I wish I knew who this was. He doesn't have like one thing that he plays. Everything he does is just good. So I'm going to have to. He was in Harry him. Potter. He was in Harry Potter. Oh yeah, he was. He was, right? Which character? Because that will help me know who that is. Oh my gosh. Which character was it? Like one of the Are you teachers. looking it up? Oh, I should. Okay. <laughs> I, should. I mean, if he was, he wasn't Snape, right? Please tell me that I'm not. I'm no, no, no. Wrong. It, okay. I bet right. if you saw him, you would probably know. Dang! I wish I knew that was. Okay, we're bringing. Okay, I'm getting I'm some. Gonna get up on screen. We're gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Please, just please, just, just get the get, get the game uh, picture out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me get that out of there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm seeing some love for um, the Twilight actor, by the way. Eclectic Camel, which is, I know who you are. I know you. Um, <laughs> he said, my, my friend David. Um, he says that he's played in other things, to be fair, not just Twilight. I have never seen him in anything other than Twilight. Okay, so this is David Tennant. Oh, okay. I thought that's who you were talking about. Okay. Wait, he's in Harry Potter? What? He had to be one of the teachers. I'm like, right? Barty Crouch Jr. What the heck? I don't I remember it a whole lot. I don't remember him at all. Yeah, he's like super. From the super first great. movie? I freaking love it. So good. Was he the guy, the teacher with the like the face on the back of his head? Like when um No. Mm -mm. Okay. No. Huh. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Was that back of the head guy? <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. That's that's our Thanks, movie, please. our movie segment. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, I could talk about this forever. Like I have so many more comments. I'm gonna stop it now. We're gonna get back to board games. Back to board games, everyone. <laughs> so what oh else did you gosh. play this week? <laughs> okay, so this is great. This is really great. My children had friends over on Saturday, and it was in the throes of having no bathroom so i had my four boys plus Ooh. two more boys yeah, yeah. that okay. was interesting That's a lot of boys. Um, oh my god it was a lot of boys how did but you, i have how 11 did brothers you survive that because <laughs> i have 11 brothers oh, okay That's how. you're used to yeah. it <laughs> all you gotta do is make him some corn dogs and tell him to get out of the house and go play in the hose and they're fine um so that's what they did but but so they had these friends over and they've been asking me to have friends over all week so i'm like fine let, let's just i don't even care stop asking me let's have them over super sweet kids but they were playing video games the whole time and they were fighting. These like friends oh, were fighting. I yeah. know. And I was like, we're done here. I so I that. turned everything off and I said, mm -hmm. you're going to play a board game. 
Yeah. And this one, and the kid who was over goes, my family doesn't really play board games. I'm like, oh, you do now, child. You yeah, do Yeah, you're like, shut up, Sit down. kid. I'm like, you're playing a board game, whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like super not into this. Like I was like making them do it. So I turned off the video games and they played Castle Panic. Have you heard of it? Yes, I love Castle Panic. What a fantastic a game, game to play. <laughs> it's drinking. The main reason that I had them play it is because my oldest son, who's 12, knows how to teach it. And I'm a terrible yes. teacher. So I'm like, get over here. So I made Lucas stop playing too. Um, Castle Panic is a cooperative game. And so I thought these boys would have fun kind of working together. And that way there's way less going yes. from person to person explaining their individual cards. It's more like everyone's looking at each other's stuff. Yes. So in a situation when you're teaching co-op, especially the kids, like, or teaching them a game, co-op is a really good way to mitigate question asking and just things like that. It opens up conversation at the table. Oh, I'm talking so fast. I can't even breathe. Okay. <laughs> deep so, breath. Deep breath. Yeah. Oh, there's a castle in the middle. <laughs> Seriously, I'm like, oxygen, please. Please. <laughs> you have a castle in the middle. And throughout the game, um, after your turn, the very last thing that you do on your turn is you draw two monsters out of this bag. You blind draw them. You slap them on the board. You got to roll the dice and put them on the board mm -hmm. at their strongest strength. Throughout the game, as you go from person to person to person around the table, those monsters start encroaching on the tower. So your job as a player is to work together to defeat these monsters before they crash your castle to the ground. So if a monster, uh, if you damage a monster, you can actually take that little token that has the numbers on it and, and flip them down to a lower number. So you just kind of chip away at the monsters until you actually get them into your possession. The only thing I didn't quite understand... Um, is it's a cooperative game, but when you kill the monster, you take it into your personal like space. Yeah. And then do you those score then at the end of the game? What's the point of that? Just to see who killed the most monsters? Like, is yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. At the end of there, I believe, I believe there are some scoring with that in the end of <laughs> see, like who won the most, but yeah, for the most part, you all win collectively for that. I think okay. It's, perfect. It's a sort of like sub thing for people that okay. need to know if they're number one, if you're. If you uh, place everything into board games, you're like, I need to I thought one. so. I <laughs> thought so. Um, okay, and then explain one more thing to me because me and my son were like okay. about to go at it at the table. I was like, okay. Luke, you're wrong. And he's like, Mom, you're wrong. Do you every round um, pull monsters out every, between every single turn, individual turn, you get two new monsters out, right? It's not per round, it's per person. No, no, it's per person, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, I it, it was would be per way person, too. Yeah. Wait Otherwise, yeah, there, he's like, Mom, it's you way too to hard, though. I'm like, no. Oh. It's called yeah. Castle Panic for a reason. You're yeah. supposed to have panic while your if you're not being freaking invaded. out. And yeah. you ain't doing it right. <laughs> you're not panicking oh during that game. You're not doing the game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, a collective camel says Ellen passes out mid description because I can't <laughs> read. I'm like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, so anyways, they played this game. So Lucas and I, my oldest son disagreed on a few rules and we, I was just like, Luke, you're wrong. So yeah. we kind of, yeah. So we figured it out and the kids, this was so cool because I watched this room of this dark room of boys playing video games when they weren't interacting at all. And when they did, it was fighting, literally just like yelling at yeah. each other to coming together Playing this cooperative game, and the two boys who were visiting who said we're not into board games loved it. And the kid, hearing his thought process to figure out yeah. who has what card, what you can trade. Like he would, I'm like that kid has a gamer's head on his shoulders. It was so right? fun listening to him. You can talk see about it right he away. Totally got it. Yes, I was like, <laughs> oh, hmm. oh you power oh. gamer, you couldn't do yeah. it. <laughs> mm. It was awesome. It was super cool, and I was like super into it. So I kept running upstairs and like trying to help Randy with the bathroom, which I I wasn't at all. Sorry, babe. And then I run downstairs <laughs> and I like bring more snacks and I'm like, who needs help? And we would talk it out. It was really, really cool. That's so awesome that you have, you could yeah. facilitate that experience for everybody because that is so much fun introducing new people it to board good. games, especially I kids, I felt right? like a boss. Yes. Oh, yeah. You, you yeah. were a boss. You were a boss. That's so awesome. It was and, awesome. I mean, I don't know what it is, but that happens where kids will get together and they'll start arguing and fighting and yeah. stuff like that over video games. Mm -hmm. And I've had to do oh, yeah. that as well with my kid and be like, nope, no more yeah. video games. Like, this is it. You either you go do a, pro a project, a hobby, play a board yeah. game, like anything else, because there's something something that, like, creative, angsty. that's tangible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh! And it's there's something about that instant gratification, which is a great feeling. Like we all love that. 
But in a board game, you have to like take a deep breath like I'm trying to do <laughs> and like think out your turn and think about other people at the table. It's not just like staring and these things are affecting you only right away. It's like you're thinking yeah. of everyone. So it's just, mm -hmm. yeah, it forces you to kind of what settle the heck down. Fantastic fun game to share with it everybody. Cool. It's it's a perfect gateway game. And I love Absolutely. your going into it cooperatively with everybody because you're yeah. right. That just, it smooths everything over for everybody, you yeah. know? Totally. It was great. All right. Let's see here. What else did yeah. I say? <laughs> Okay, hold uh, on. No, you're good. I played good. another. I played another. <laughs> Vampire Man. the Masquerade game. Oh, everyone. here's the death. Here's Vampire the, death. the Masquerade. Okay. <laughs> so, are there dead fairies in it? There are not dead fairies in it. Okay, okay. but there is some death. Right? Okay. Just a little no. wink bit of death. <laughs> just a tiny, yeah. just a tiny bit of death to make sure you just know like you're a, still alive. A pinch. Okay. Just a pinch of death. Yeah. <laughs> So I recently played Vampire the Masquerade Rivals. This is by Renegade Games. It was a Kickstarter that we backed and I had played it on, I think it was like Tabletopia or something like that. Okay. Tabletop Sim ahead of time before I had actually backed the game. I freaking love this game so much. Cool, tell me so, why. As a vampire, you are in different clans. Do you know much about Vampire the Masquerade? Uh, I do not. Okay. No. I'm like, well, hold on. Let me tell you about Vampire the Masquerade. <laughs> There's no <more. laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so in Vampire the Masquerade, you play as a certain clan. So you're not just a vampire, but you are a specific clan of vampires that has a specific set of skills. Okay. <laughs> so for Fancy. example, the Bruja are very strong, fast vampires and everything. Whereas like, say, the Toreador are, are more... Uh, charismatic vampires, and so they fight in different ways. The Bruja might be more like hand-to-hand -hand combat, where the Toreador okay. might be more talking behind your back and getting you in trouble with like a higher oh. power or something. Okay. So everybody has their own different way to attack each other, and they're actually represented by these little icons right here. So like a Bruja is going to have a higher icon here in like a melee, or here mm -hmm. a Toreador might have a higher icon in like their powers of seduction. Whereas like a Malkavian is going to have higher powers here, which is like messing with people's minds and stuff Ooh. like that. So you have like your that. different clan with your set of cards and your special, I guess, like uh, abilities that you have that you're really, really good at. And you're trying okay. to win this game by attacking other players, getting like credibility and making sure that, you know, you still feed and get, you know, people off the streets because you had there's like another higher up power that goes around trying to kill off vampires like vampire hunters okay. in a way you know okay but in this game you're playing cards from your hand and you basically i'm trying to okay sorry are you, are you were so, frozen to keep going in my back just, my back. No, yeah, you're back. I was just kind of doing that. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so you have your little vampires here that you put down, and these are going to be the people that you attack with, and you have special agendas and everything that you're trying mm. to complete, and then you have abilities that you can play from your hand as well. So the special agendas here can be for the Malkavian. I believe you have to do, uh, what was it? Like... I can't remember the name of it. It's not like a diplomatic mm. thing, but it's like going behind people's back and creating some mastermind like plot. And so you're trying to put down cards and do special things where maybe like oh. the Bruja's all trying to attack everybody at the table. And it's really interesting because in most card games like this, you'll play a two player where you're playing against somebody. It's kind of like, oh, back and forth. I hit your stuff. You hit mine. With this game, everybody kind of wins in a different way. Okay. And I really, really like that because... Although, like, the Malkavians might not be super strong and heavy on melee, they can do all these, like, extra special agendas and stuff like that. Oh, and start asking cool. players at the table, oh, do you want to help me with this agenda? And then it might mm. be a good thing, might be a bad thing. So is and, there, like, negotiation then? Is that what I'm hearing? Well, and that's the thing. So, like, the Malkavians yeah. do more negotiation. The Bruja do more hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Toreador are going to do something different. Like, so each group is trying awesome. to do something different, but you're all that's meeting really cool. at the same same table yeah and you're all trying to carry out the same sort of stuff while defending each okay. 
defending yourselves from the other players. So I thought it was an incredibly unique idea. Hmm. Taking this card game that seems like, oh, this is just a card game, and then making it where, no, each deck is completely different with what's happening and going on okay. with it and how you win, you know? Is there, like, bluffing involved? Do you have to kind of, like, lie your way through situations like a traitor would or something? Oh, now you're frozen. I don't know what your answer is. Hold on. You're frozen. Ooh, there the you go. Okay, there. I'm back. Oh, okay. you're back. Oh, my gosh. With the Malkavian clan, yes, there is, because you have okay. agendas that you're trying to do. And you want to do more agendas because they're going to give you more, like, renown throughout the city. But as you're doing the agendas, people are, you have to ask everybody. You're like, oh, okay, I'm going to do this thing. You don't know what it is yet. Mm. But if, like, you want in on this plan, you can totally, That's like, awesome. get in on this. And then people have to decide then and there put tokens on it and then perhaps you reveal Ooh. the agenda later and something happens or that agenda uh, is immediately ha happens because of what's been placed on it or something. So with that it's clan, it's very intriguing. specific. Yes. Hmm. And then like with the Bruja, which Derek had played, it was very, very like in your face, melee combat, trying to get behind mm. the lines and stuff like that. And so like, I'm trying to carry out all these agendas and then he's trying to like get behind my lines and it's that race <laughs> to, the, to the prestige in wow. two completely different ways, which is really, really interesting. That's really and cool. Then, so a pack of cards, like, is there a board to this or is it just like, a, is this just a deck game? So like it's, everybody has their own deck and then there mm -hmm. is a row of cards in the middle, which is okay. your city and okay. I believe they're going to have different cities eventually. We have San Francisco and you'll have mm. people that come out. And if you want to, you can leave your little haven so you can scoot your little vampires up to go into the streets <laughs> and try yeah. to, yeah, you just, just, just scoot them just in there. Little, little scoot, scoot boot scoot, into the street. Little, my little, little vampires. Little <laughs> they're the most adorable vampires. And you can attack somebody in the streets and maybe feed off them, gain power or gain mm. renown. But that exposes you because you're no longer in your oh, haven. And so okay. you're more open to attacks by other players. And in a four-player game, this is really interesting because you have a specific clan that's your rival. So at the table, you have tokens. And you look at your token and you figure out who your rival is. So you might get... You will win the game if you knock your rival out first. So you can definitely oh, band yeah. together with other people at the table to try to do things, but everybody has like wow. a different rival too. Yeah, I know it's like it's so good. It adds so this much is political crazy. Intrigue. Like I will never Into be it. super duper <laughs> interested in vampire theme. Like it's just not my deal. But the description of this one, I'm like, I love all of that. And I love yes. um kind of negotiation type things. I didn't know that I did until I played I think it was Moonrakers. And trying to get people in on your contracts with you. Yes. And you're like, okay, how can you sweeten the deal? What's in it for me? I love that kind of talk. I love that kind of talk. It's just fun. Yeah. Right? So, that's really, oh, right. so intrigued by this one. They did hmm. such a fantastic and ingenious job of bringing this theme that I love from Vampire the Masquerade, which is not just like, mm -hmm. ah, vampires, blah, we're going to bite people. It's yeah. more of that political <laughs> intrigue of what's oh, happening. So cool. Yeah. Into a card game. And I This is my frozen face. Dang, this stream is being so finicky. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> you there? Okay. I'm here. I'm here. I'm, this is, this I'm so is sorry. I'm so excited about this game. I'm, I'm like, excited I want too. to reach through here and just like talk to people about this game. I'm so excited. We just talked about to it. Batman. We just talked about Batman for 30 minutes and now we're finally fine. talking about board games and the stream's it's like, no, nope, not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds yeah. amazing. Like your description has me super duper dupe 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 intrigued. Yeah. I, it's it's hard translating an IP into a board game and having the feel of an IP, but I really feel like this did a fantastic job of it because you have all That's that awesome. political intrigue and kind of like mm. excitement of going into the streets and being like, oh. I'm kind of like out. I'm back. Okay, you're back. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is this is this is. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> I'm I so know. Frustrated. Every time you say something that I'm like super want to hear, it's 
yeah. you just get closer no. and closer and closer to the camera and you're like, <laughs> are you there? <laughs> Omar says Ellen should just freeze to mess with the uh, glory hound. I'm just like, <laughs> It's so frustrating. But, but, oh, that sounds really great. Um, yeah. Where did you, where can you get this game? Is this just like anywhere, like miniature market, cool stuff? Is this, cause so, I've never heard of it. It just is delivering on kicks, Kickstarter now. So okay. Kickstarter backers are getting the game. It should be in your friendly local game stores here pretty soon. We're gonna end up playing it on Thursday's stream, I believe. So I'm really excited awesome. about it. So if you're interested in just checking out the gameplay and stuff, I would, I would do that. I'm not for sure if I'm gonna play Malkavian or Toreador cause I always play Malkavian. But I kind of want to try out Toriador this next time. I don't know. We're gonna see. <laughs> From Renegade Game Studios. Okay, yes. interesting. How many yes. times have you played it? Because it sounds like you have a thorough knowledge. Is that because it was already from something that exists that you knew of? You're saying I uh, okay. Well, IP? yes. I really know the IP a lot, but also okay. I played it on Tabletopia a whole bunch of times. So. Oh. <laughs> So, so it would be unfair to play you right now. You would destroy me, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you know this game. Yeah, so I played it on there a couple times, maybe. So. Oh, that sounds super fun. <laughs> you know, you have such an advantage. Like, the content that you and um, uh, Glory Hog, mm -hmm. I was called Glory Hound, the content that you guys do is, like, Kickstarter stuff. So you get to see all this, like, new, awesome stuff. I love that. I love that you keep telling me about games, and I'm like, what is this? It looks yes, great. Yes, yes. That's that sounds really interesting. The most fun about Kickstarter is being able to try all these new things. And sometimes sometimes you'll get like things where you're like, eh, I'm not as excited about this. But whenever you get those really sure. big hits and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I backed this. Yeah, that <laughs> is so, so exciting. exciting. <laughs> and to be that voice for the game too, that's just kind of like you're not the first one to see it, but right. kind of like in a way. Yeah. You're just putting it out there that. for the world. Yeah, so that's really, really like, cool. This is amazing. Try it out. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so the bottom comment, I cannot pronounce that name, says the IP has been around since 1991. Yep. yep. Nosferatu wow. clown, who is also a Vampire the Masquerade clan because he has, you know, Nosferatu yeah. in his in his thing there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, oh, okay. I see. The IP is super awesome. And I've played Vampire the Masquerade, the role playing that, you know, the, from where the IP comes from, the role-playing game, oh, quite a long time ago. I, hmm. I'm trying to think of when it was. But, yeah, I played it for several years. We had, like, a two-year campaign or something like that going on awesome. where we got to play. So, so how do you say, the guy whose comment you have up, how do you say, or girl, I don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. How do you say their name? There's Nosferatu Clown. Nosferatu Clown. Because yeah. I've seen that name come up a lot in, like, chats yeah. and things. Mm -hmm. So that beginning part of his name is a clan from that game or from yeah. that IP? Uh -huh. it's That's so interesting. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Put in the face with the word. That's cool. Let's see. I wish Love Mage it. or Werewolf would get the traction that the vampire has. That's time fine, too. Yeah, no, I agree. Mage the Ascension uh, was, I think it was Mage the Ascension, but Werewolf. Werewolf was super good. Mm -hmm. And I think they just did Wraith too. And then they have the Hunters one. Okay. So they, they, World of Darkness universe is so vast and they have so much fun stuff. It's all creepy and crawly and like. Yeah, yeah. Like, right up your alley. <laughs> right, exactly. But each bad guy has a different book, you know? So if you want to be werewolves, you can do Werewolf the Apocalypse and wow. stuff like that. And oh, the old vampire film really. Oh, oh yes. So Jolly Lumpy says. Or an old vampire film, really old, yes. Back in the old, old vampire films, the mm, vampire okay. called the Nosferatu. <laughs> Nosferatu. Nosferatu. That's kind of a fun thing to say. I'll be I saying know, that right? all day long. <laughs> so much fun. It is fun. But yeah, it's cool. It's, it's a really good game. I really You like definitely it. got me so intrigued. Excited. I so and you know, excited. I'm still, I still have not found dang uh, micro macro city. A city is that what it's called? Yes. Micro macro. You haven't gotten it yet. <sighs> No, and I really want it. So I kind of keep track of like the games that you talk about that I really want to get. And this is Rivals yeah. is one. It's called Rivals, right? Rivals. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Micro Macro City. I gotta I gotta play those again and try that I one. I know. So good. Micro Stupid Macro bathroom. City, yeah, is all crazy sold out now. But yeah, it's super good. Yeah, you I need, keep you need that in your life. To find it. I feel like I do. I feel like it would no. go on this beautiful game topic. Yes. And then Fan so it. when we played it, we had the kid involved and everything. Everybody's down there on the map and they're like looking. You got your like oh, magnifying so cool. glass out. And you're like, oh, look over here. This is happening over here. And it's I love it. so much fun. Yeah, also, I just I saw some a friend it. of mine just got it. 
Yeah, like, right. I, know. I, I really want to color it really bad. Does anybody else like? After you solve that, all the cases, just start yeah, have it. that feel to it because it's all black and white. But I really want to color everything because, or at least like mm -hmm. all the little people, like it's very satisfying. You could use like <laughs> right? one of those fiber tip like pens. How satisfying yes. would that be? To just kind of yes. like. Oh, right? Yeah. It would be amazing. Yeah, you would follow it. them all around and like you could see each individual person's story and how, mm -hmm. what happens to them because you're coloring each individual person. Oh, that's on so there. cool. That's right? kind of a fun thing to do like after. And then you could frame it and hang it up in a room. Oh, that would be so pretty. All right. us, so, so, so game tips there, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be out there and wants to do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, all right. Well, I think I think that's today's show. Thank you for everybody sticking cool. with us through all of like that's the little cool. pauses and you know <sighs> apologies, yeah. everyone. Movie talk. Yeah. <laughs> and movie, movie talk, talk for half I think an hour. everybody liked the movie talk though. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's got a thought about Batman, right? Everybody wants right? to chime in. It's just right? a fun thing to talk about. I oh, I love movie watching so much. Yeah. Me too. It's good Me times. Too. <sighs> Anyways. Oh, oh, I should probably like pull up all my stuff here so I can get ready for our closing. So. Oh, I love that. I do not have to worry about that. <laughs> all right, everyone. So next week we will be back. Ellen, do you want to tell them where we will be back at? Yes, we will be back at We Game Together YouTube channel. I think think we all we use restream so we should be on twitter and oh, facebook as well so you can watch through there i don't i never know how to do this that's that's where you'll find us next tuesday 12 30 central whatever time i'll post about it and uh glory hound and i have been talking about possibly having um guests on the show in the future so it's something we're kind of working out right now but we're gonna we're gonna talk about it and hopefully get some more people on here just to see what everybody else is up to also be that would fun. be super amazing i'm excited about the guests i've been thinking about it for a little yeah. while and i think having a guest on here and there would be really really exciting yeah. and just absolutely i mean because we talk about everything and who doesn't want to yeah. hear about like a random designer or publisher totally. or you know content creator and their random thoughts as well so yeah and even just random things that they're that's going on in their life it's just interesting right. to talk about so absolutely we want to get to know ya absolutely so we will see all of you next week bye bye